uh, whenever we design anything we have to first uh, come up with the models for example i'll just uh, tell you a correlation uh, see before uh, any civil engineer he constructs a house he is going to show you some model isn't it that is called as a blueprint sometimes that blueprint will be you know uh, what they do is they will write the blueprint in the uh, chart isn't it see uh, before they do anything they will design some charts uh, if you have that subject of i don't know that subject name some uh, we are supposed to have one uh, engineering drawing subject i think right so in that subject you might have constructed some uh, charts like top view side view and uh, like that right so when you are going to have that you know so you are going to first uh, the engineers they are going to design some chart okay but then when they show you this uh, you know uh, the uh, the model they are not going to present you with the chart because you might not understand the technical details like they'll be having some meters they'll say that it is the top view this is the you know front view like that you will not you'll not be able to understand it that is why what they do is they'll actually uh, build a small uh, diagram of the house i mean small model of the house isn't it so with uh, with brick and stone they'll, they'll just design a mimic a small model of the house right so like this they will show you actually how the house will look like like they'll put everything and they'll show you that right even though they are doing it on the chart and then finally the main project will be done right finally the house will be constructed therefore there are actually three levels of modeling done and this first level of modeling which nav users like you and me if you don't have any knowledge about uh, civil engineering if you have to understand it you will never understand the charts right but if you if they show you the real model of the you know, small model of the house uh, then you will understand it isn't it then it is this is called as high level view or or let's say conceptual view right and then they are going to use some charts right that is called as represent representational view right? or representational model and the final is implementation right similarly here in software also while we design the software we have various models and like software this database also while it is being designed we it goes through various levels of modeling and the first level of model is a high level modeling or conceptual modeling so this is mainly used you know in order to explain to the people who really don't know anything about how database is implemented for example let us say you are the database uh, designer okay uh, which means you want to provide the database system uh, as an engineer to some uh, let us say some school and now the you know the head of the school has called you to design the project and you you'll be you'll be talking with the head of the school but then you should not talk about the sql with him isn't it he will never understand what sql is and what is a record and what is a relation right so what is the best thing is you use some diagrams and then show him what you are trying to put in the database right so that kind of uh, you know viewing is called as high level or conceptual view it will be mainly helpful when you are talking to people who don't understand anything about what you are doing right so it is similar to this uh, you know house building model right so here the most uh, what we do is we use some diagrams like you know we say we use some diagrams for entities for example uh, we model a student by an entity and the student might be having some attributes like he says his name right all those and maybe uh, there be relationships right like a student and course right a student attends the course attends is the relationship between student entity and course entity like that if you draw the diagrams and if you try to explain it clearly then that is called as conceptual view right and the conceptual view the most popular conceptual modeling is uh, you know er modeling entity relationship modeling there are various model uh, modelings available but then the most popular is entity relationship model and we have that in syllabus we are going to discuss about entity relationships later there are even enhanced entity relationships and then various other uh, like uml and all but the we are going to follow entity relationship model right so what is the main advantage it will be very clear for a new person to understand it so before you design it it's better that you draw some diagrams and then show to the people who are interested in it so that they will understand it the communication will be easy that's it right and later representational or implementation model is just like these charts right while building a house the charts which you are going to use that is nothing but the representational so these uh, these models are used you know by the programmers right 
if you understand uh, how the you know query runs sql query runs or any query programming language runs then you are going to use this representation to represent the database right so this level of modeling generally we use the relations relations means the tables we use generally the tables at this level right so it is also called as you know relational model okay and later we are going to take the table and we are going to implement it right and when we are going to implement it we have to talk about how are we going to take the table and store it in the hard disk or the memory device right then at that point we have to deal about what is the structure of the record how are you going to store it right especially what is the data type and what is the structure and how are you going to place it and when you want to retrieve it how many bytes should you go in right for example uh, if a table is represented like this see if an entity is represented like this in a high level language then a table will be shown like this as a set of uh, you know uh, some rows and some columns but then you are not going to save uh, like the entire table image in the memory right you are going to store it as a sequence of bytes which means maybe if you go record wise you will, you will place the first record and then the second record and then the third record isn't it then in order to access the third record in the table you might have to skip these many bytes right it is called as accessing so how do you access a record everything that will be discussed by using this uh, physical or low level models right so now we shall discuss about this high level modeling first which is which means how do we use the er models and then we shall discuss this uh, low level this intermediate modeling and then we shall discuss about the low level modeling right if we can do that with that the database design will be over okay